Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Buns and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the official NVIDIA RTX ray traced version of Minecraft. Now this only works for Minecraft Windows 10 edition, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you already have that purchased and installed on your computer. Secondly, what you're going to need is something called the Xbox Insider Hub. Go ahead and download that and launch it. Once you launch it, you're going to want to go into the Insider Content go over to Minecraft for Windows 10 and go down to Manage. Now you'll see that you can go into the beta program for the standard game or Minecraft for Windows 10 RTX beta and that's what you wanna get. Once you select that, go ahead and hit Done and what I did was went to Show in Store and I saw it start downloading the latest version of Minecraft. Now the version you're going to want is 1.15.8. That is currently the version that works for me for having RTX. Now keep in mind, you're going to need an RTX graphics card from NVIDIA. That is the 2060, 2060 Super, 2070, 2070 Super, 2080, 2080 Super, and the 2080 Ti. I don't believe any of the 1600 series work, and the 10 series don't work at all either. You're going to need the 20 series card if you're going to want to actually use RTX. Next step, go ahead and launch Minecraft Windows 10. And once you have it launched, go ahead and go into Marketplace. So when you go into Marketplace and go to the very uh, top right and type in RTX, you'll see a bunch of things come up. Now the only ones that actually say buy NVIDIA are the ones you're going to want to use. You don't have to download all of them, but they do have different resource packs. And if you're going to want to use any of those resource packs in your own survival worlds, you're going to want to download these first. So go ahead and go into play beta, go to create new, and you can select any of, and you can select any of the worlds that you have downloaded from Nvidia. Now, once you get into one of the RTX worlds, go ahead and hit unlock template world options, unlock all so you can switch it over to adventure mode because most of the people don't want to actually play these maps it's more or less for the experience of seeing how rtx works in minecraft so go ahead and get creative mode set up so you can go around and do whatever you want all right so once you are officially in the map to toggle between rtx on and off you want to hit the semicolon which is next to the l to the right of the l and it will turn your rtx on and off in real time so you can do it while you're moving it's not like the shaders on standard Minecraft Java edition where you have to actually go into your settings and turn them on and off and it reloads everything. Now one thing you will notice in the advanced video options is that you now have DirectX ray tracing which you can turn on and off and then upscaling. So upscaling is definitely something you're going to want to keep enabled because I have noticed that uh, since it is using real time ray tracing um, on everything in the game. It is very intensive, even on my system with the 2080 Ti at 1440p, it definitely does have a very low FPS. But if you turn on DLSS, which is upscaling, it actually doesn't really look different whatsoever than having it turned off. This is DLSS 2.0, so it is much better than the original DLSS, which is uh, deep learning super sampling created by NVIDIA that uses the RT cores just like ray tracing does. So it makes your game run a lot better without looking any different. And overall, using RTX is a huge improvement to the game. Now, the water in normal Minecraft has never been anything great looking. Uh, the top of the water has always had the same texture for quite some time. And underwater is just very dark. But when you go ahead and turn on ray tracing, you get light shafts that actually react with the water itself. Uh, the deeper you go, the darker it gets. And if the light cannot actually get to the water, it will actually be much darker than normal. So I know what you're about to ask. How do I use these in my own survival world? Because if you go to try to create a survival world, you'll notice that it tells you that you cannot use ray tracing because you don't have a supported world or a supported resource pack. So let's really quickly go on in and how to get that. So first what you wanna do is go on to your Windows icon, type in percent, app data, percent, and open up that file folder. Now, it brings me directly into here, so you want to make sure you go to the top and hit specifically on App Data. Go on over to Local. Go down to Packages. This is the tricky part. All of these say Microsoft, but they do go in order if you have them listed by name. It will be Microsoft.Minecraft. Mine says Minecraft UWP. Go ahead and open that up. Go to your Local State, Premium Cache, and World Templates. Now, these are all of the uh, RTX worlds by NVIDIA that you've downloaded. 
And when you open these up, you'll see that you have, uh, you can click on your world icon and see which world this is. So if this is the resource pack you want, go ahead and get the resource pack from here. For me, it says RPO. For other people, I've seen it say RTX Showcase. So what I've noticed is it will not allow me to drag it into my own personal files from here. So what you have to do, um, if you have WinRAR, you can just add it to an archive or you can just zip it if you don't. So add it to an archive. Once it's done, copy that. Go back into your local state folder. Go to games, com.mojang, resource packs, and then paste it right in here. And then you want to extract it from there. So you're going to want to unzip it. All right, as you can see, I've done that for two uh, RPO and I named one RPO one because all of them for me are named RPO. Once you have one or more of these resource packs in your resource packs folder, go ahead and open up Minecraft again. All right, once you have Minecraft open, go to play beta, create new, create new world. And here's the important part. When you go down to resource packs down here, you want to go to my packs and choose which one you want to use. I haven't found out how to change them once you're in game. Um, if it's already been a world that is made for RTX. So go ahead and choose the one that you want, hit activate and then hit create. And there you have it. You have ray tracing added to your own custom world. You don't have to use any special worlds that you have to download specifically from Nvidia. Now, if you do move that texture pack from the world file that you took it from, you might have some issues loading up that world file again. So you might have to delete it and open it back up. So if you got it like I did from the temple, you might have some issues loading the temple back up. We can always just re-download it if you really want to and it'll work perfectly fine. But guys, I hope that helped you. Remember, you do need an RTX graphics card for this to properly work. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will make sure um, to link you guys in the description to the Sonic Ethers PTGI shaders, which are path trace global illumination. Very similar, doesn't use uh, RTX graphics cards. It's not as uh, accurate when it comes to the lighting and it runs a little worse since it doesn't use any specific hardware. It runs on anything, but it is very similar to RTX and you do not need to have any specific hardware for it. And it works on the Java version of Minecraft only. So I'll link that in the description below. Guys, if you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.